What if Goku and Vegeta remained as Vegito? How would this impact Dragon Ball Super Part 3? You see this? This is Goku! If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell that you'll be the first to know any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on what if Goku and Vegeta remained as Vegito. We mentioned that Vegeta was able to go to Super Saiyan Blue with sheer training and transform to become one of the strongest mortal in the multiverse. He even overpowered Beerus and managed to become the strongest. Later on when the tournament of power started, with all the training that Vegeta has gone through, he was able to unlock his ultra instinct and from there Vegeta managed to single handedly defeat all the opponents that were there and he even managed to transform himself into Master Ultra Instinct. After beating everyone, Vegito then was the winner of the Tournament of Power and therefore he used the wish to wish back all the universes that were once there to be back restored. And therefore, once that happened, Vegito was known to be the strongest in the multiverse. As Vegito now has a fun time hanging out with his family, Little does he know that an evil Kai is planning something to go and try to take over the entire universe with his all mortal must die. Find out what happens inside this part. What if Goku and Vegeta remained as Vegito? Part 3 it has been almost 6 months after the tournament of power has ended as Vegeta was the victorious of the tournament and he was the strongest in the multiverse. Vegeta and everyone was relaxing and having an amazing time while they just came back from the tournament of power. Pan has gotten a lot bigger and stronger and Vegeta has been being a good grandfather with her and at the same time trying to give Boma as much time as he can and give Chi Chi the same amount of time since they are Goku and Vegeta fused into one. Vegeta at the other hand, his goal is to continue to train because he wants to be the strongest in the multiverse and even surpass the angels. Vegeta then decided to go and train at Beerus' world as he kept getting stronger and stronger and with Beerus watching Vegeta and Whis keep fighting Vegeta one on one their training, Vegeta was able to surpass even Whis at his master ultra instinct giving him the power and the ability to be the strongest out of all the mortals and even the gods and angels. Meanwhile, while Vegeta's having fun training and gained the rank to be the strongest, Future Trunks was running away from an evil Saiyan. This Saiyan went and almost destroyed the entire city and killed a lot of mortals. This Saiyan had a lot of anger towards human beings and he wanted to go and extinguish all of them. His name was Black as he went and killed most of the population and he wanted to kill the entire mortal that lives in this universe. When Trunks tried to attack, he managed to escape and make his way towards his time machine. Boma gave him a map and told him the plan as she told Trunks to go and get help from Goku. Once when Trunks started his time machine, Black came and killed Boma right in front of Trunks and when before leaving Trunks saw Black's face it was revealed and it was no one other than Vegito himself. Meanwhile back inside the present timeline Boma threw a party for everyone to come and, and have a celebration as everyone was enjoying their time off and having fun with one another. Out of nowhere a time machine has crash landed on their present timeline and Trunks fell from the machine and he was all bruised up. 
When they saw that, they ran towards Trunks and they saw that he was all injured and Vegito ran to get him a sense of bean. He instant transmission towards Corrin's tower, got the sense of bean and he came right back to give it to Trunks. Once when Trunks ate the sense of bean and he woke up, he saw Vegito was right in front of him, confusing him to be Vegito Black and he went and tried to attack Vegito. And then he realized that Vegito was actually, and he realized that this Vegito is someone else. Everyone was surprised with Trunks' behavior, including Vegito himself, and he said, Just what happened to you, Trunks? But Trunks first was very confused and saying, Just who are you? I never knew there's another Saiyan. And what's your name, Vegito? Then that's when Vegito told that I'm your father. He's like, What? My father? What are you talking about? <laughs> Allow me to explain. I'm actually your father and Kakarot. We have fused to become one, and ever since then, we will remain this way. Trunks was very amazed and amused that these two Saiyans managed to fuse but at the same time he felt a little weird he's like uh does that mean that Goku is now my father too? And that's when they had a little laugh and then Vegito said back to work Trunks what happened? Why are you all bruised up and why you came back to this timeline? Beerus and Whis decided to come along with Vegito to see what happened as they came and they saw that a boy from a t different time machine has managed to come his way to this present timeline. Trunks then told Vegito about Vegito Black and he said that there's a Saiyan that looks just like you but he's complete evil and he killed pretty much everyone inside my timeline. Before Trunks can say another word, a very black light came from the sky as a lot of lightning has come out and we saw Vegito Black has made his way to the present timeline. When he got there, Vegito back like, oh, so this is the timeline that Trunks came to. I could see there is Boma. She's still alive. And what the? What is Beerus the Destroyer doing here? As he saw Whis and Beerus. And then Vegito Black saw Vegito. When he saw him, he's like, oh, well, well. It's a pleasure to meet you, Vegito. I've been really looking forward to seeing you. And that's when Vegito flew right towards him and said, just who are you and why have you come to this timeline and why are you killing everyone inside Trunks timeline? Before anything can happen, Vegito then went and transformed into a Super Saiyan and they started to go head to head as they both decked each other and they were pretty much equally matched. Vegito then went and teched them hard and they were fighting one another. While fighting, Beerus noticed that Vegito Black has a time ring. Black then got decked hard by Vegito as he felt that he's getting stronger and stronger as he kept pushing himself to the next level. Before Black can go and make his next move, he's been sucked by his time ring to return back to his original time zone. But once when he got back, he was able to understand Vegito's body as he returned back to his timeline and he saw that his power has gotten along stronger and he said, finally. I'm able to use this Saiyan's power. Meanwhile, Vegito then went back to normal base and that's when Beerus and Whis told him that this guy has a time ring and this time ring belongs to only Universe 10 and they decided to go make their way towards Universe 10 and ask about the time ring. Vegito decided to come along and once when they got there, they saw a Kai standing there with an older Kai. Vegito sensed that this Kai's energy was a lot similar to Black. As they went and talked and Beerus asked about the ring. Once when they cleared it up, Vegito then wanted to spar with Zamasu only to see if his theory is true. When Zamasu accepted to fight Vegito, they went and powered up and Vegito managed to one shot him to the ground. But before that can happen, Zamasu got up with and powered up and tried to slice Vegito but Vegito caught it and decked him. And just right there when he powered up, both Beerus and Whis sensed Black's energy including Vegito and that's when Vegito's theory was true that his power is somewhat, somewhat very similar to Black. Zamasu then smiled and said thank you for sparring with me I guess I got a lot of training to do but then Zamasu had an evil smile and that's when Zamasu decided to start his utopia. The first thing he must do was to go after Vegito. Vegito went back with Beerus to his world as they were talking about what to do with this black and why is he here in this timeline and just who is he well how come Vegito became evil. Vegito then said I must go back to the future and see what's going on. 
Beerus didn't like the idea of time traveling as he told Vegito, if you mess anything with the timeline, I'll destroy you where you stand, so I suggest you should not go. Vegito then said, no, I'm going to go and find out, and that's when Beerus got mad and came close to Vegito's face and powered up a Hakai and said, listen here Saiyan, if you go right now and disobey me, I will destroy you. Vegito then looked at him and said, just who you think you're talking to, as he powered up to Super Saiyan Blue and he decked Beerus very hard and Beerus fell right to the ground. Vegito then told him that don't forget your place Beerus, just because you're a destroyer, it doesn't make you stronger than me. I'm going to go back and see what's up. As Vegito went right back to Earth and asked Boma to get the spaceship ready. Once when Boma got the time machine ready, Vegito and Trunks decided to go and make their way back. Once when they got there, they saw the entire timeline was almost destroyed, Trunk City was completely ruined, the world was on fire, everyone's panicking because Black was in a mission killing everyone. And once when Black sends Vegito's power, he quickly instant transmission towards Vegito and said, Welcome back, I knew you would come here. Black then went and said, I have some things for you. I was able to understand your power and now look at this as Black went and screamed and transformed into a Super Saiyan Rose. As he said, what do you think? Vegito then got angry and went and transformed into Super Saiyan Blue and they started to fight head to head. They were evenly matched and before anything, Vegito heard a voice from the sky saying, that is enough. You have promised me that we will kill Vegito together. When he saw, it was Zamasu coming from the sky and seeing Zamasu got Vegito very surprised as Zamasu told Vegito that huh, it seems like you like to tamper with what is that of a god for that I can't wait to kill you. Vegito then went and attacked Zamasu and asked him just what the hell is this and how does this guy look just like me. Zamasu told Vegito how he took his body by using the super dragon balls and wished to exchange bodies. Once he did that, he then went and killed Boma, Gohan, Chi Chi and even Goten and Trunks. And he started his utopia right there. Hearing this got Vegito very mad as he went and transformed himself into a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Kaioken times 10 and he decked Zamasu so hard and he went and started to fight Zamasu and Vegito Black at once and overpowered him and decked him really hard. They got up and tried to attack Vegito but instead they went and attacked Trunks which nearly almost killed him. Seeing that the Trunks is about to die and there's no sense of being, Vegito quickly ran towards Trunks, got him and he went right back to his original timeline to heal Trunks' wound before he dies too. Once when he got there, Beerus was there and asked him what happened and Vegito told him that Zamasu is black and that they wanted to destroy everyone and they have a plan to go destroy the entire multiverse. Hearing that, Beerus and Whis decided to go over to Universe 10 and destroy Zamasu so he cannot do this in this timeline. Meanwhile, Vegito got healed and he decided to go right back and said this time I'm going to kill him once and for all. Knowing that they're immortal, it is going to be a little tough for Vegito to beat them but he still didn't give up hope. Where there's a will, there's a way. Vegito then decided to go back to Trunks timeline but this time he went back alone. Once when Vegito got there, he saw Black was waiting for him said, well, you came back very fast. And before anything, Black tried to attack Vegito, Vegito decked him hard and Zamasu came from the back and grabbed him as Black powered up a Kamehameha and he threw it at Vegito. Vegito then was able to withstand his Kamehameha blast and said, you guys are so pathetic. Do you have any idea who I am? Who you're fighting with? Vegito then went and transformed himself to a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and he went and decked Zamasu very hard. Zamasu said to Black that he is so strong and you know what, let's go do our plan. And they went and fused to become one. Once when Vegito Black and Zamasu fused, they became Vegito Su. And from there Vegito saw and he went and powered up and used Kill Ken times 30 to attack them. As he went and decked Vegito Su, but Vegito Su got up and decked Vegito very hard and started to beat the shit out of Vegito. Being pushed to a corner, 
Vegito had no option what to do, and then that's when Vegito Su said, It'll be a very big pleasure killing you. Thank you so much, Vegito, for giving us this power, and our utopia is gonna begin right now. As Vegito went and smiled, and he let out a scream. <laughs> Vegito has now transformed himself into Master Ultra Instinct. Master Ultra Instinct flew right towards Vegito Su, and Vegito Su tried to deck him, but it didn't phase him. As Vegito went and decked him hard in his face and kicked him to the ground, Vegito Su got up and screamed, and he transformed himself into a Super Saiyan Rose. And from there, he tried to attack Vegito, but he couldn't lay a single hand. Getting very frustrated as what's happening, Master Ultra Instinct Vegito went and powered up a final Kamehameha and he threw at them and they died. As Zamasu's spirit went and was surrounding the entire earth, Vegito went and tried to blast him but it didn't work. He then noticed that he had an Omni King's button from the time after the turn of power, the Omni King came to him and said, Here you go, take this button, whenever you need me, I'll be there. As your fight, what I saw right now, was very amazing. I can't wait to see your fight again. Vegito clicked that button and that's when the Omni King has come and he saw that Zamasu was surrounding the earth with his evil aura and that's when he told Vegito to go right back to your timeline, I'll handle this. He went and destroyed Trunks' timeline. Once when Vegito came back, he gave them the good news that he managed to kill Vegito Su with the help of the Omni King and everything went right back to order. Trunks then decided that since everyone's dead in my timeline, might as well I'm gonna go and remain inside this timeline and live here forever. As now Trunks had decided to stay inside the original timeline and he asked Vegito that he wants to learn to get stronger just like him. Vegito then smiled and said, you have no idea rookie just what I'm capable of. As Vegito went and showed Trunks his Master Ultra Instinct. Just by seeing his aura, Trunks couldn't move and from there Vegito blinked and Trunks fell right to the ground. And when he got up, Trunks was very determined to get the same power as Vegito as those two started to spar and train at Beerus' world to get stronger. Vegito has now been able to go and surpass everyone as he saved the day once again and he managed to be the hero that the world needed. Stay tuned for part 4 by clicking the bell my Z fans.